become a Dante you see that and get caught slipping first and foremost before I get started with this lesson I would like to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakahakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect the temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. And uh, again, right, don't become a Dante, man. Right, and get caught slipping out here. Right, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to analyze this video here, you know, for you brothers. And you few sisters to, uh, you know, you know, so you can see. I mean, you pretty much saw it from the first clip, right? This dude here, you know, he look like he doing some construction work, right? And then out of nowhere, right, uh, uh, the water main burst, man. You know, and then you hear Jake Topperson, get out of there, Dante. <laughs> you see, now I guess this is supposed to be a meme. You know, Jake, you know, on the comic board, bugging out. Dante was gone the moment the pipe opened up. Hope uh, you okay, homie. Get out of there, Dante. <laughs> hey, Ghost, now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, okay. And I want to say it was one comment that I saw where uh, they said uh, if he quit, you know, uh, they'll say that uh, he couldn't uh, withstand the pressure, man. You see that? And I want to do this lesson here because, it's you know, at first when I saw I thought it was funny. But then as I looked at it through a spiritual, you know, a spiritual eye, man, a lot of people, two-thirds of our people, they're going to get caught off guard like this here, man. Right? They're going to be, uh, uh, you know, going about their day-to-day -day and then out of nowhere, right? You know, working and getting money and then out of nowhere, right? That's cool. See how he's all laxed, you know, in a very relaxed state. He's not thinking about you know, the uh, the hidden dangers that lie just right underneath of him, man. All that pressure. You see? Yeah, you're Dante. I think to pop off on you. Yeah, you don't want it to pop off on you, you're uh, Dante. Like you know, Jake standing there. You know, he ain't worried about what's great to happen to him, man. Right? And again, this is the spirit that two-thirds of our people are in, man. Right? Lackadaisical, partying. Right, can't wait till the weekend so they can go out and you know spend some cash, right? And the very money that they're spending, right? The the, uh, the value of the dollar is declining, man. You know, so you know there's a lot of stuff that's happening that Jake is not aware of. You see, yeah, all kind of stuff, man. With Elon Musk and you know wars, rumors of war, earthquakes, people are constantly being destroyed. You see. You know, the family of the word is on his way. We're in a year of Jacob trouble, but Jake is in a very relaxed state, man. See? Oh. Yeah. But then out of nowhere, man, this was going to happen to him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. That damn water knocked him out of his... Look, see that? <laughs> that damn water knocked him out of his damn... Uh, you know, out of his damn... Uh, out of his shirt, man. All right, damn near knocked him out of his britches, man. You know, so I want to do this lesson here, brothers and sisters, because again, don't be a Dante, man, and get caught slipping in these days to come. Okay, get out of there, Dante. <laughs> so we're telling you, brothers and you few sisters, let's go ahead and uh, grab this scripture first. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemai Rashi and Yahweh Rathazah. Somebody will be edified by this, man. Right? Don't get, don't be a Dante, man. 
But of the times and the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. You see that? Why? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. You see that? And we know, us brothers that are in the know, and even you few sisters, you know that the day of the Lord is coming, man. You see that? Ain't no rapture coming. Right? None of that bullshit. You see that? Yahweh Shagre come back here and kick ass. You see that? Kick whose ass mainly? Esau Edom's ass. You see that? You know, so again, don't get caught slipping, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, right, then suddenly, right, destruction cometh uh, upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You see that? And, you know, as you see here in this clip, right, water came suddenly for this dude here, man. You see? Peace and safety, and then what? <laughs> Sudden destruction, man. You see that? So a lot of people, they're not going to be able to withstand in the evil days, man. You see that? Because Jake is not paying attention to the time that we're in. That's why scriptures say measure out the times diligently within himself. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab this one right here in the book of Ephesians. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13. It reads, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. You see that? And what is the whole armor of the Most High? This truth, man. Right? The whole Bible. You see? That ye may be able, right, to withstand, you see that, in the evil day, and having done all, to stand, you see? Uh, uh, stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. You see that? And I can stop right there because, you know, in this video here, right, this dude here, he was not, he was not able to stand, <laughs> right? And uh, man, that was so much PSI water coming out of that damn pipe, man. This dude here wasn't able to stand, man. Right? And when the Lord bring that uh bring that ultimate PSI on America, right? That Jacob's trouble, Jake is not gonna stand, man. You see, that's why scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. But our people today, they don't like wisdom, brothers. Right? They like they, they like folly. You see? So yeah, man, don't be a Dante. <laughs> boy, that water, boy, I know that jag hurt, boy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read another precept here, you know. <laughs> this is the book. <laughs> man, that water, is it? That dude said, get out of there, Dante. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 30. <laughs> Verse 8, and I'm going to read it in there to you, and it reads, Now, go and write these words, write them in a book. They will stand until the end of time as a witness. You see that? And yeah, man, right? These words in the scriptures are faithful and true. That the, that these people, right, talk about who? Two-thirds, man, you Israelites. But these people are stubborn rebels who refuse to pay attention to the Lord's instructions. You see that? And I was just thinking today, right? You know, you got a lot of people out there that know that they're Hebrew Israelites, right? You got a lot of people that watch the videos and all of that. You see that? You know, take notes and all of that. And then they'll run to other bug out Israelite groups with their little bit of knowledge that they have, but they don't really have any knowledge. You see that? You know, so scriptures say a lot of people, they're going to say, Lord, Lord, how we prophesy in thy name. So because a lot of people, right, in the days to come, they're not really paying attention, they're not, they're not really hearkening unto, unto the magnitude of what we're telling them to do, which is pray and repent, truly pray and repent, and to call and worship on the names of Yahweh Shem Shah. When Esau come in like a flood, Jake is going to get ran the hell over, man. You see that? Anyway, let's go back. Verse 10, uh, Isaiah 30, verse 10, the NLT. Uh, they, they tell the seers, stop seeing visions. They, they tell the prophets, don't tell us right, tell us nice things, tell us lies. You see that? And this is what our people want to hear, man. You know, they don't want to hear the truth, right? They want to hear that you can still eat shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobster. They want to hear that, you know, they can be harlots. They want to hear that, you know, that these men can be thugs and killers out here in the street, man. This is what our people want to hear, man. You see that? But anyway, let's keep going here. Uh, verse 11, forget all the gloom, uh, get you, get your narrow, it's like a get off your narrow path, stop telling us you're a holy one of Israel, that's right, so Jake don't want to hear about the holy one of Israel, you know, Jake don't like having us around, man, verse 12, this, this is the reply of the holy one of Israel, because you 
despise what I tell you and trust instead of oppression and lies. Calamity, right? Listen to this. It says, calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that bursts and falls. In an instant, it will collapse and come crashing down. You see that? And yeah, man, just like Dante here, right? Because a lot of people, they trust in lies. You know, they want to hear bug out, right? Their calamity is going to come upon them just like how this water came upon Dante, man. See that? Came upon the ass to see. Came upon them suddenly, man. You know, let's go ahead and read another one. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, you know. You know, because again, you know, just like in the days of Noah, I actually was going to read that precept, but I'm not going to read it, you know. But just like in the days of Noah, man, right? The people were what? Eating and drinking and marrying and giving under marriage, and then guess what? Bugging out. Right, and guess what? It started raining, man. You see that? And only eight souls were delivered. You see? And everybody else drowned. You know, just like that guy, <laughs> you know, Dante, man, right? If he wasn't able to swim, you know, well, if it was deeper water, woo-woo. You see? So anyway, let's, let's read this last precept. Sirach 5 and 7, it reads, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, right? For suddenly, right, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see that? So, you know, I just want to do this here, you know, because you individuals, you better seek the Lord now, man. Right? For suddenly, right? Just like this, you know, just like this damn pipe, right? Burst open suddenly, right? The Lord, I mean, that calamity is going to come upon you, man. Right? And I want to also read the Proverbs, the first chapter, man. But, you know, you brothers and you few sisters, you know, you should definitely... Read that chapter if you have not read it, man, you know. But, you know, again, you know, going back to the title of the lesson, don't be like a Dante, right? Get caught slipping, man, right? You brothers out there and few sisters, you should definitely be paying attention to, to the times, man. You see? You know, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, until the next time I say, Shalom. Uh -oh. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, you don't want it to pop off on you near uh, Dante. It's almost like this. Oh, you see. Damn! The whole main from... Get out of that, Dante.